Hi, I'm Jeff. This is Tropical Plants at 53 degrees north. And I wanted to do uh, a quick video. I hesitate to say quick video because you know once I get a, once I get going what I'm like. But <clears throat> it was in response really to one of my videos at the moment seems to be kind of trending. And when I say trending, trending in terms of how my videos are viewed. And I'm guessing it's because this particular plant is in bloom now. Um, I did this video <coughs> on Dendrobium kingianum or kingianum. I think I'm probably more in, more inclined to say kingianum. Uh, I guess our American friends would say kingianum. But the, the Dendrobium kingianum or anum, whichever it, you prefer to call it, it is in full bloom at the moment. So I'll, I'll just kind of whiz you over here to, to show you. And I'll try and give you various angles of it. And I did a video I think it was, it's about two months ago, I'm filming this in March now, it's, uh, where are we, we're about mid, no, we're towards the end of March, so it would have been towards the end of January, and, you know, in YouTube terms, this is a long, long time ago, um, I was just kind of learning about these things at the time, I still am learning about them, but I did a video about it, I did some research on it, and at the time, I'd had this particular plant for just over two years and all I'd had from it was two growths I think I'd had the two outer canes that one and that one uh, grew in the second year I think it was probably a division actually I got it from an auction and since then nothing happened up until when I filmed that video and I had some tiny little growths in the top so this is the video from early January and you can just see the growths that were coming in the top there so you can see in a couple of months what they've turned out to be. And I thought, oh, are these going to be flowers or just leaves? And I was hoping they were going to be flowers. And as you can see, they are, they are flowers. And I'm really, really impressed with it. I know it's, it's supposedly an easy, easy orchid. It has such gorgeous flowers and the fragrance is, is just wonderful. You come in the greenhouse and this is what you can smell. I mean, if you contrast that with the the very older, the background, the dendrobium very older, very very similar. Uh, the very older is uh, I did a, a video video on that recently too, but that is like a hybrid from the dendrobium kingianum and another one which I forget what it's called. You'll have to check the video out to find out what the what the parentage is. Uh, but this this is known as a pink rock lily in uh, in Australia. This is where it comes from. But I've seen pictures of it where it is more pink than mine. Now whether that changes as the as the blooms age. You can probably see when you when you look at it from the top. I'll just I'm kneeling at the moment. I'll just stand up from the top, like the back of the petals has this kind of pinkish tinge. Now whether that that changes as the flowers kind of get older, but they are. When you look at them, they've got like a little. If you're going to zoom in, they've got like a, I suppose it's like speckled pinky purple in the middle and you've got like a little tiny yellow throat in the center um i think they're a stunning it's a stunning orchid i'm really really impressed with it and when you when you consider how easy it is to grow it's very very forgiving its temperatures it can go right down to five degrees celsius because it's something that grows on the rocks out in the wild out in the open it can go quite high as well I believe it can go up to 25, maybe even 30 degrees Celsius. So it doesn't need a lot of water. Uh, at the moment, mine is looking quite wet. I watered mine, I don't know, probably about four or five days ago. But we're getting some sunshine here in the UK at the moment, but the temperatures are still quite low. It's still, the, today it's about seven degrees Celsius. But yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this. And I just wanted to, I thought, well, if I do a little very short video just to, to show what it's looking like when it's in its full bloom it might encourage people to have a go at it it's quite sticky there's quite a lot of nectar on there i'm not sure what that's to attract uh, it'd be interesting to try and find that out i've got sticky fingers now and um, so i'll just kind of zoom in on the blooms and in the edit afterwards i'll try and zoom in on those i'll just hold it still for a second so you can have a good look close up Yeah, so this is definitely one one to get if anybody's interested in uh, growing a dendrobium and they want a nice easy one. 
Uh, this is one I think that, that's well worth it. If my, my quite small specimen here looks so good, then I can imagine a really large specimen would, would, would look better. So I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so while we're on, so that's the, the Dendrobium kingianum. So while we're on, I'll just point out another couple of things. So I've got some Pelagoniums in bloom here. They're both the same, the two that I've got in bloom. I always love it when the Pelagoniums come out because that's showing that summer is on its way. <clears throat> and just over here, the Master Valley is still in full full throttle there. But we've also got <clears throat> some Streptocarpus, my first Streptocarpus spike of the year. That's always good to see. So these things, you know, will be in bloom for the mo for the majority of the year, a good 10, 10 months. Um, <clears throat> it was really me that stopped them. I, I stopped them flowering in December just so that I could <coughs> give them a tidy up and give them a rest. Another few things coming out here. This one, you can see here, this is Ada Ada Arian. Arantiarca, Ada Arantiarca. It's not one I say very often. So that's gonna that's gonna flower. That did have I've had a, a few problems with scale. Uh, I only need to give it one spray and that seems to sort it. Some of my phalaenopsis had some scale on it as well. This is gonna come soon as well. That's not flower for two years because I rotted all the roots. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that really. I'm not gonna go and do a full tour. We'll save that for another day. So it's basically mo mostly about the Dendrobium kingianum, kingianum, kingianum. <laughs> so yeah, if uh, I do believe actually that they are, that you know, in some places, I think Todd from Todd's Tropicals mentioned that they grow like weeds over in Tampa in Florida. But uh, I mean, it is, it's a beautiful plant. I'm really, really impressed with it, and I'm really pleased I've got one. It's a surprise to me because I had no idea what it was going to look like. Yeah, that's the Dendrobium kingianum, and uh, like I say, as usual. If you're interested in putting a few comments in, I'd be very interested to see what you think about that. If, I'll tell you what though, if, so if somebody's got like a really big specimen, uh, by all means send me a photo. I'd like to see what a big specimen look, looks like, or in the comments just mention that you've got one. Describe your, your trials and tribulations, your failures, your successes with it. Uh, it all helps to build up a picture for me, because I'm learning too, along with everybody else. So uh, that's it for now anyway, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.